y'all welcome or welcome back to the channel it's your Brianna. if you are new here make sure that you like comment share and subscribe to join the fam and make sure you turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me because in 2024 i'm coming with the content okay um in today's video we are mainly going to be focusing on my hands but i will be popping in here and there just to give you guys some more tips and tricks on how to make your personal nails last as long as possible because ain't no cap in my rock my nails be lasting me a month okay and I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best bang for your buck. So first things first, my favorite personal nails nowadays are from BT Art Box. I do have a discount code for you guys, okay? I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm also going to put it in the comment section with a link. But do know that today's video isn't sponsored by them. These are just my favorite personal nails. I think these are like $30 on Amazon, but here's the whole kill room. I would not buy these nails from Amazon because BT Yardbox's website has so many more options for you guys to choose from. Y'all be in my comment section asking about do they have different sizes for different nail beds, do they come in different lengths, shapes, colors, etc. There's a plethora of options to choose from on their website. Before we jump into the personals, y'all know we got to get into some nail prep okay for our natural nails my nails look busted because i just did these braids girl and i was putting my hands to work so they look horrible okay it looked like somebody been biting on my fingers girl <laughs> so the first thing that i always do is cut my nails down um i have to do this personally because my skin tends to grow with my nails and it can be very very painful once my nails get long so I just keep them as short as possible nowadays because I don't ever wear my natural nails out anyways. So there's no point in keeping them up. I think also it looks better underneath the press on because sometimes you can see through the press on and if your natural nails are different lengths then that can look weird in your like final product. So next up is pushing back your cuticles. This is so important. If you do not do this, your press ones are going to look like press ones. And that's not the look that we're going for. We want them to look like a full set acrylic, okay, fresh out the shop. So you have to push your cuticles back. It's also going to allow the press on to grip at the base of your nail bed a little bit more. So make sure you don't miss out on that step. Now it's time to get rid of all the dead skin. I like to use this little tool because the ones that looks like that look like little pointy scissors, I used to get nicked up in a nail salon by professionals. So I've always just been a little skeptical and off and honestly a little nervous to use them on myself. So I like to use this tool instead. It kind of reminds me of like a mini cheese grater because i just get to grate off all the dead skin while still being very very gentle and that's the most important thing to me because i don't want to cut myself and i be getting in there girl like i gotta get all the dead skin off and when you're done with this process your nails are gonna look so clean so like well taken care of uh, oh my god it's gonna look so good Now it is time to buff. This is really important too because you want to get rid of all the natural shine that your natural nails have to offer. And you just want a nice, smooth, clean base. You don't want any lumps, any bumps, any old nail glue residue. You want to get everything off, okay? And also, you guys are probably going to see, I have like this green dot on one of my nails because I slammed my nail on the door and it's starting to heal and it looks weird. I actually slammed two of my nails in a door and it hurts so bad but just disregard that little green dot so yeah now you have all this powder on your hands and you want to make sure that you get this off so i wash my hands and i also want to remove everything with alcohol this is also um a good thing to use if you don't have a nail dehydrator on your hands you can also substitute for alcohol swabs or use a regular alcohol to paper towel that's what i like to use we could really stop here to be honest like my natural nails look so stinking good because they're all clean they all look uniform even though they nubs they look really really well taken care of but now it's time to get cute and get classy and apply the press ones so first things first you have to size them out this is super important if your nail 
if your press on nail is too big this also could be a reason as to why your nails aren't lasting because it doesn't it's not gripping to a nail it's gripping onto your skin and as your nail grows of course it's going to pop up okay y'all be in my in my comments like do you wash your hands a lot do you wash dishes i do everything you do boo but it's a science to this okay so you have to make sure that the nail is not too small and it's not too big it needs to fit perfectly and it needs to cover each nail on each side with not too much like not too much space okay like it needs it needs to be a perfect fit okay right now we are goldilocks in that house trying to find the perfect bed we need to find a perfect nail okay so once you have all of your nail sizes you want to set them to the side i like to order them from thumb to pinky just because so moving on to the nail dehydrator again we want our nails to be as dry as possible if your nails have natural oil that might be a reason why your press ones aren't lasting long y'all be in my comments like do they really last minimum two weeks do they really last a month yes and it's most likely because i do all of these steps and then i have a really really good glue that i'm gonna show you guys in a minute but your nails have to be dry as the sahara desert okay i don't know it's just something about being able to take care of yourself and not needing to rely on anyone i love it like I'm gonna still go to the nail salon here and there, of course, because we all love to be pampered. But if I need my nails done right now, I know that I can get it done myself. And I love that. Then I go ahead and apply my Kiss Nail Glue. It's like Kiss Gel Nail Glue, something like that. It's so good, y'all. It lasts so long. I remember when I was first going on Amazon, I was like, hmm, what nail glue do I get? And that's the one that, like, was the most familiar to me and i remember my nails tech used this girl my nails techs at the shop use this that's why it's so stinking good but yeah what i like to do is apply a big dot at the base and i spread it out and then i apply another dot at the top and i spread it out i kind of have my nail evenly coated but i make sure not to get any on my skin okay i don't even want it close to my skin because once you apply the nail and you and you apply pressure you're going to make the glue spread so if you apply too much glue that's when you'll have spillage and that's when it gets messy you don't want that but you also don't want to apply too little of a glue because that's when you'll get air bubbles and that's when the nail won't actually like completely seal and it'll pop off and your nails won't last as long so the amount of glue is super important when it comes to applying press on nails i know it's kind of a science but once you get the once you get the hang of it you'll be good so yeah and when i apply the nail i make and I make sure to apply the nail kind of at an angle and then I like to press down on the edge of a table oh my god like that made all the difference when I first did it for the very first time I got no air bubbles no lifting no spillage you gotta apply it at like a 45 degree angle at the nail bed and then press it down hold it for 30 seconds girl I just be sitting there because I don't want my nail to pop off okay applying it at an angle like that make sure that you don't have any air bubbles it's kind of like applying a fresh screen protector to your phone always do it at the top of the phone with a camera at and a speaker i apply it at an angle and then i press it down and you see all the air bubbles go away it's the same thing applying to your nails so yeah i just repeat that process all over my nails until all of them are on this glue is my favorite because you don't have to cure it and it's fast drying i love btr box but i don't like their glue their gel glue um you have to cure it and it's messy and to me it doesn't last as long it says 28 days but um i didn't experience that <laughs> i experienced more like seven days if that so yeah kiss gel nail glue is where it's at and i need a sponsor by them okay so now that all of your nails are on it's time for shaping which is my favorite part these stilettos were stilettoing okay like i could poke somebody's eye out with them so i wanted to give them more of a rounded look so i just went ahead and used their file to do just that i literally just like rounded it out so it looked a little more almond-ish but with a point I don't like almond because that's too grandma. 
I'm too young, okay? But stiletto is like, <laughs> and I don't want to give that. So yeah, pointed almond is where it's at. And a lot of people ask me, how do you do your other other hand? So I'm not quite ambidextrous. Like I can't write with my left hand, but I can do what's needed to be done when it comes to my nails. So boom, this is what you do. Um, when you're doing your right hand or whatever hand that isn't your dominant hand, you want to keep that hand. You want to keep that hand still and do all the movement with your hand that's most dominant, if that makes sense. So if I'm holding my file in my left hand, which is not my dominant hand, I'm just going to move my right hand, which is my dominant hand, if that makes any sense, because I have more control, okay? No, I can do it the other way. It's just gonna take me a bit longer, but yeah. keep you Always keep your less dominant hand still and move your more dominant hand so you have more control. I'm smart, okay? Don't forget, I want TVA, all right? So, the nails are on, the nails are filed. Now it's time to clean them off. This is so important. Before you apply any top coat, any builder gel, you want your nails to look like your, your wanted, desired, finished product. So you don't wanna have any specs, you don't wanna have any file, residue, you don't want anything. Because once you put that top coat on, you're locking whatever is sitting on your nails in, once you cure it. So you want to clean your nails, use some more alcohol, whatever you got to do to make sure they are prepped and ready. And then you just apply your favorite top coat. I do like uh, BTR Boss's top coat. What I don't like is Builder Gel. A lot of y'all was telling me to use it. Girl, when Builder Gel chips, it chips and it makes your nail look ashy. I don't like it. Builder Gel also does not make my nails last longer. I would rather the nail like actual polish start to chip and I can just file it away and I can make them look brand new. But once Builder Gel chips, it chips and you're done for. And then it starts to snag on stuff because Builder Gel is an actual gel. It's really thick. It's thicker than regular top coat. I don't like it. Maybe it was the one I used. I used BT Art Boxes. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't. So yeah, um, today I am just sticking with top coat, no filter gel, and it works perfectly fine for me. Um, I always cure my first hand for 30 seconds, and then I cure the second one for 30 seconds, and then I go in again for another 30 seconds, so a minute in total for each hand. I like to add a finishing oil. It's not a cuticle oil, it's just a, uh, the one I like to use is from Truly's, and it's actually just a body oil because I need to learn. I'm trying to teach myself how to use all of my products with my buying new products. So yeah, this this body oil is gonna work just fine for me, but I'm sure they have tons of cuticle oils on Amazon and other places. But yeah, that's the final product, you guys. These nails turned out so stinking cute. Um, I'm gonna put in the comments like exactly how many days they last me because I promise you I don't have no need to sit here and lie to y'all and tell y'all that my nails lasted longer than they did. I don't get anything from that. Y'all act like I own these nail these nail brands that I be putting y'all on to. I'm not getting no benefit from this. If you buy, you buy. If you don't, you don't. And you don't even have to use my links. If you do, I'm gonna get commission. But if you don't, that's cool with me too. You know, like I'm just showing y'all my process so yeah this is how my nails turned out they came out so beautiful so classy um if you need any other products they will all be linked down below so yeah comment down below what other nail tutorials you would like to see from me next and i will see y'all in the next video bye mama